Hi folks, John in Thailand again. Having a nice day out here today. It's late in the afternoon actually. <laughs> Day's nearly gone. Uh, I'm just looking at the trees, man. We've got some great buds on these trees at the moment. We haven't had any heavy rain that can cause damage and uh, hopefully we don't. If we can keep uh, the heavy rains away for a couple of weeks, it's going to be mango central here. Uh, that's one tree. Oh, we've got hundreds. Uh, the one next to it's a bit light on for buds, but that doesn't matter. The ones that have got heavy on buds are, uh, you know, outweighing the ones that haven't got a lot of buds. So, yeah, only got a few there. Uh, got a lot more on that tree. Even that one, it's just... Uh, not a big tree, but it's got buds all over the place. Uh, I'll get my glasses on, see how far it's come. Oh, yeah, 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 that's okay. That's good. That's not too bad. It looks like it could have been a little bit of a black mole there, but we're spraying for that. That's, I don't know if you can hear the tractor in the background, but Tick's spraying for black mole and putting hormones on at the same time. See, this is what happens... This is what happens when uh, yeah, the black mould and maybe a few other things can damage the, the little stems. But uh, the tree right next to it looks pretty good. Not, not too much problem there. Lots of nice little buds. Yay! I'm happy because, like, I mean, uh, I put money into this every year and so far I haven't really got a good return out of it. But, you know, what farmer does, I suppose you could say. Um, or orchardus. There's another tree that's gone nuts. We just need the rain to stay away, the heavy, heavy rains. Uh, if it doesn't, uh, doesn't rain, we're, we're in with a shot of being an early season mango seller. Now, we've got to grow them now, but like, um, what is it? We're just into October, first week of October. Uh, we'll be looking for late December, early January sales when it's you know pretty good prices. Traditionally, pretty good prices for mangoes. Uh, here's a tree that's not producing too many buds. It's got some uh, different different mangoes. Uh, we got. Uh, these ones are actually uh, the yellow mangoes you would see in other countries, possibly if they import Thai mangoes, the yellow colour. Um, and there's, t there's two yellow ones. Actually, one's considered a gold mango, which we have... Uh, we've had some trees grafted. I... Not too sure. It's hard to tell. Ah, there's one over there, been grafted on. That's a gold mango. And they don't always take. Another one there. So, that's looking pretty good. Tick's been cutting off a few of the branches. So, the gold mangoes get a bit more. Um, nutrients from the tree. Ah, oh, crap, I just got some uh, chemi on me. She's been down this row. I, I could feel the chemi on my head. Um, yeah, so there's another graft. More and more and more. Unfortunately, this last year's grafts, which were done about March, April, the weather was too hot and we got 3,500 done and 3,500 died. Yeah, that's what it's like when you're a farmer, I guess. Um, that's got more grafted um, gold mangoes on it. Yeah, so uh, just an update on the on the rural side of things, the orchard. This is the Pete's in a Row orchard, or the number one orchard. As I try and get everyone to call it number one orchard, but um, not everyone's agreeing. <laughs> All right, I'm going to leave you with it and I'm going to walk around a bit more and just, well, hope that all these uh, little buds turn into seriously good mangoes. 
and they all won't but a lot of them hopefully will yeah okay then folks have a good night bye now